Before we begin, just like to say a big welcome to everyone who's joining us today. Thank you. Uh, as you know, we cannot have a, an event without referees. As many athletes that come, we need the referees to be able to judge them and um, score them. So thank you, thank you for joining us. And I'm going to pass it over to Gunter to just walk everyone through uh, what the roles and responsibilities will be as a referee and judge on this our first ever virtual championships. Um, I'm sure many of you have done your own national championships. So some of you actually have actually more experience in this than I myself. So I'm um, also very interested to see the feedback um, that we get from all of you as well uh, after we finish this session. So I'm gonna meet everyone uh, just to avoid any, any feedback during the presentation. And Gunter, over to you. Thank you, Teresa, for your opening words. And I would like to say Sweetie Cup to all of you and nice to see you there. And now I think we are international. We have UAE, we have Philippines, we have American, we have Germany, we have Italy. And so we have it people around the world who would like to you know, they enjoy this seminar, this workshop. So at first I would like to say how and why we have this competition, but everybody of you knows it well. Uh, during this pandemic, pandemic time, we don't have any events. So in this way, IFMA thinking about the future and they would like to give the opportunity to some people to enjoy a kind of event same like this one. So now it's the first time in IFMA, I think it's one also of the biggest events on the online events that we have. And the idea behind it is also not only fighters can enjoy this event and also young students, children, youth under 10, for example, five years old can enjoy and can be part of this event. So in this way, I think it's a very good and a great idea to do this event like this one. So we have four disciplines inside. And it starts with our main priority also, with our main focus, it's on right crew. So Raikru means it's a long story behind Muay Thai and everybody of the referees must have no knowledge in Muay Thai and Raikru. The second part is shadow boxing. So in shadow boxing, they can show us their skills or the eight limbs. So many different things must be inside. The next competition is max fit. For max fit, we have three categories. So we have the lower body, the upper body, and also the stone. Uh, the middle and so and the next one means is error fit so some of the students some of the adults would like to do it with some partner would like to do some exercise and would like to perform a, a short show they would like to do it with the partner and so this is also a very good change for them to show them something about Muay Thai about the choreography something artistic inside and so it's a nice for the future the guidelines for the referee. So the referee must wear the IFMA uniform. That means black short or dark blue, the IFMA referee shirt and the both tie during this competition. And also connected to your laptop or tablet, it's up to you. So I think the best way is to connect it to your laptop so it's a bigger screen and so you can see everything of the movements of the athletes. It's much more better to see some details and how uh, how they have to do the exercise and how quick they are. And you need also scorecards and a pen. The scorecards, you will find it on the internet on the virtual championship 2020 Muay Thai Sport. So there is a button, you can download it, the rules and there is also a, you can find also the scorecards there. So for each category, we have different scorecards. So in this way, you need each of them. We have different criteria, so in this way, we must score it on a different way. For the finals and for the semifinals, then you need a second device for the scoring, smartphone or tablet. For the finals and for the semifinals, we use our sport system for scoring. So you need the laptop or a big laptop or tablet or and a smartphone for the finals. So for the smartphone, uh, for the scoring at the finals, we use the outboard system. We try it and we did it before. It works very well and it's much more easier. And so in this way, it's a good 
opportunity also. And also for the judges, may it's possible to use a click counter to daily drills. Example for the max fit competition. So we have different exercises and everybody of the referee have to count it. But they have to count it in a correct way, must be fair. And sometimes we have different exercise inside. For example, on the third round for the first uh, Premier League bouts, we have kicks with the left leg and after the after 30 seconds they have to change it to the right leg and so maybe some of the referees get confused with the number of counting and so it's the much it's the best way to use a counter only for example there you can see this is an electronic system it works very well and so you can put it on your finger and you can use together with the pen it works very well and it's much more easier to handle it and so on this way i will show it in front of the camera you count and after this one you finished you deleted and you can continue with the you can continue from the you can start with the beginning so this is also very nice a nice tool to support yourself and i cannot exactly say but i think if you buy it if you order it on amazon on the internet for example for four pieces you pay maximum ten dollars so it's very cheap and it works very well and support yourself the next one uh, very important also for the referees understanding all rules and regulations especially for this competition for the right crew for the max feed for the shadow boxing and for the error feed also and very important also for the referees and judges well experienced in basic skills of muay thai if the referee have no idea about what my crew so it's not uh, it's impossible for him to be a referee in charge for this competition. So each of the referee that will be part of the Raikuru competition must have a knowledge. So we have different things inside for the uh, Raikuru competition. And so they have to know how much movements or which kind of movements must be inside. Next point is also national coordination is mandatory. And to be approved by the National Association of Amateur Muay Thai affiliate to IFMA. So each federation must be member in IFMA. The next one. So before you start with the competition, the referee have to introduce the athletes. So, and you have to take care about them and you have to watch them. Uh, the athletes have to use the dress code. And before you start, you have to show them the way to welcome them. Competition, uh, competitors will receive a short briefing from the judge how far they have to stay in the front of the camera and how far they have to go in the left on the right side. And so everybody can see it and can read it at the rules book. So we have, for example, for the right group competition, they have to stay in the front of the camera three and a half meters and the frame rod, the screen radio, the video oriented must be landscape and so everybody is be inside and so please prepare yourself and read the rules and the regulations and also very important also for the max fit competition is same like for the right group competition the referee can prepare himself at home uh, if you see the rules there are many pictures and some links inside and if you watch the links you can see which kind of movements must be inside for the right group competition and what happens about the exercise for the max fit competition for example uh, burpees sit-ups and kicks is the first round for the max fit competition now you see the camera position maximum four meters point uh, three and a half meters and landscape also the position of the camera must be landscape most of them they will use their mobile phone and should be fixed on one position or may it's possible also the athletes do it together with one of the coach or with the friend and so the friend can be also the timekeeper and so can be a good cooperation next step is also mark the boundaries of framing to ensure you stay in the camera view so the athletes have don't have to move too much on the right and too much on the left side so they have to boundaries it's much more better then so they can see there are some marks on the floor so cannot move over there 
and very important also for the referee, for the judges, no backlighting. So if some lights behind the athletes, so it's too light for them, so they cannot scroll and they cannot see the movements. The competition, uh, competitor of the position, one and a half meters, and made it possible to use ear, uh, earphones or a Bluetooth speaker. And during the live competition, the judges will talk to them how far they have to go and on which area they have to move. This one. So first part is the rec crew competition. Same as I said before, for the rec crew competition, it's very important for all of the judges to have a knowledge about the rec crew. So we have different categories also. But before we come to referee, the ring setting for visibility of judging must be same like as I said before. Very important, the time, we have three minutes. The proper attire. So the athletes can use a Muay Thai dress, included Hong Kong, but they don't need wraps, it doesn't matter, but no gloves. But Muay Thai dress is mandatory. And also the Hong Kong is mandatory. And some of them, they can use also the traditional Muay Puran uniform, it doesn't matter. But no sportswear, no running short, no shirt with some logo on. But if they use a normal single shirt, for example, same like mine, with sport is a gang, this one is okay, but no other one. They can represent in their gym, that's also okay, but no other logos, no, I don't know, kickboxing or something like this one, but we do Muay Thai. That's why they have to use the Muay dress or Sport is again shirt, something like this, or a shirt with the logo of their own gym or the National Federation can be also. The next one, the referee has to take a look to the athletes if they show, if they perform the recruit, they have to look to the balance, the power and the coordination. Is someone losing the balance, you deduct the point and also the quality of the posture and the level of the posture. So you can see we have different things. For example, for the youth and for the adults, there must be the panom, comprab. This posture must be inside and all other things, it's in the band on the athlete. So minimum of two posture must be inside, but these two must, it's mandatory. And also we have Especially for the youth and for the senior, we have different levels. We must show them or we must take a look at them. The fulfillment of designated poster for the youth, they don't uh, have to show so much movement, same as a senior. So be careful about this one. And for the youth, also focus on creativity without a loss of authenticity. So that means also, for example, uh, throwing hand grenades, machine fire, something like this. In this way, you didn't score it. And if someone of the athletes do it, you deduct the point. So that's very important. That means also authenticity for the right crew. Know some special movements with machine gun fire to throw a spear or uh, to use the bow. This is okay. Or the arrow. This is okay, but no other one. It's not traditional in Muay Thai. That's very important. The system of the scoring for the referee. The ring setting, same as I said before. The camera bracing, the light, the distance. And also very important, the time management. So we have a time management. It's maximum three minutes. But if the athletes finish earlier, it doesn't matter if they show some posture, which are mandatory inside. If they're finished earlier, it's not a problem. It's nice also. The next criteria is also the proper attire. For example, if some of the athletes use the traditional Muay Buran uniform and the other one use a Muay Thai shirt with a normal single shirt, a normal t-shirt. So this guy get the point who use the Muay Buran uniform. That means also with better dress, proper attire. And the fulfillment of OP. OP means obligatory posture. That I have spoken before. So we have many different things, which one must be inside. But the athletes can select which one they would like to be inside and it's up to them how they will show it. 
and also very important the quality of the posture who has the better posture and also the better balance and the next one is the fluidity and the continuity if someone are moved and they are stalking so you detect the point and which one is better fluid movement so he will get the point for this topic the next one now there you can see the score sheet this is the score sheet for red crew so we have red we have blue and the winner gets 10 points in total and now you can see we have ring setting for one point the time management one point the proper attire one point the fulfillment of obligatory posture that means two points the quality of the posture two points the balance is very important also two points and the last point the fluidity and the continuity is one point so the next one i will show you how you have to fill it out so you put the date inside the name of the judge your country and also the name of the athletes and the country of the athletes now there you can see the red corner is Edsel from Philippines, blue corner is Nobong from Thailand. It's only an example. For ring settings, both of them do it on a well way. So one, both of them get one point. The time management, Excel was exactly in the time. Thailand shows a nice performance, but they save too much, uh, spend too much time for the recruit. It's much more than three minutes. So in this way, he gets zero points. Proper attire, Edsel used a single shirt and a mild t-shirt and the Thai guy used the Mulberani uniforms so and this way he get one point. The fulfillment of posture, both of them received two points. Next one was quality of the posture. So Edsel have a little bit problem. Not all of them was good one, but the Thai guy shows a very good performance so and this way he received two points. Balance, Edsel is shaking one time and he's losing the balance. And so in this way, he received only one point and the Thai guy received two points. And the last point, both of them get one point. And in the end, we have the score seven to nine. That means blue win this round by 10 to nine. I think it's very clear and hopefully understandable for everybody. The next category that we have, that means shadow boxing. There you can see the dress code of the athletes, Muay Thai short, normal t-shirt and gloves, but they can do it without gloves too, not so problem, but no Hong Kong. So we have three rounds and the rounds, it depends also uh, of the age of the athletes. Adults have two minutes for the uh, for the first round and use the use one start with 30 seconds and growing up to 45 seconds and one minute. And so for the first round, they have to show all weapons, all eight weapons, but they have to do it in a slowly way and they have to show their techniques, their skills. The second round, they have to show counter and defense. And the last round must be they have to show the speed. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. They have to show the speed of the techniques and the strength of the techniques. And all rounds must display all eight weapons, technique, movement, balance, defense, combinations. That's very important too. And no single tracks. If one of the athletes shows example only one knee and after the knee, he stop it and thinking about what he can do for the next step. So you detect the point. That's very important. No single techniques, they have to show some combination. So next one, you can see some scorecard. Ah, the scorecard for shadow boxing. So first round, slowly warm up. Second round, show counter, defense. The last, uh, third round, show speed and strength. And there you can see the old weapons. He received two score. Show good techniques, received two score at two points, the balance one point, movement one point, and points are allocated according to table on the scorecard. So we have also 10 9, 10 8, or 10 7 can be also, but it normally 10 9 should be nice or would be nice. 
in total score box, add the number of daily points and using the 10 point mass system score overall winner. So next one, we will show you an example. So you can see also the date, the charge, the country. And now we have Jens from Germany against Co from Malaysia, the heavyweight division. So the first round, Jens, the red corner received nine or seven points and the blue corner received nine points. And so on this way, the first round goes nine to 10 for the blue corner. The second round shows counter and defense. Red shows six good skills and blue seven. So it's very close round two, but blue wind is not by 10 to nine. And the last round, it shows speed and strength. And red corner six point and the blue corner seven point. It's very close to round, same like the round before, but all in one, the blue one wind is round by 10 to nine. And after this one, you can see the total score you added. So blue win 23 to 20 uh, to 19 points. But in the end of the round, in the end of the bout, blue corner wins by 30 to 27. It seems like a normal scoring. I hope everybody understands. If you understand, shake your head. Okay, good, thank you. The next one, the next division, the max fit. So there you can see the dress code of the female, but it depends. So they can use shoes, sports dress code, same like this one, or for the male, they can use some running short or legging, long sleeve. So in this case, it doesn't matter, but they have to show good performance. The competition criteria for the first round, the first reel show the core. So that means they have to do sit-ups with left and right bunch. The next one is the upper body, they show uh, burpees. And the next one, the lower body, that means they have to show kicks, but same like deep drum, but it's a mixed deep drum, they have to touch their leg and they have to do with both legs. To start with left or right, it, it's up to them. It doesn't matter. But the referee have to count it both sides. But I will show you later. You have to count two legs separately for the scorecard. So on this way, focus on power, strength, and conditioning. And participants will be drawn in a bracket and given there a lot of time. Just a moment. Please give me five seconds. One of the referee would like to go in, but he cannot. Let me send them the link. One, two, three. So, okay, thank you. The website, the website entry should be working now. Uh, okay, let us send side. me a message. I send them the link. Okay. Should be okay. No, it's not worry. Okay, let's continue. So the winners will advance to the next round. So we have some like a normal, a normal competition. So we have uh, the winner goes to the next round on each category. So the next one, completely over three rounds, each round contestant to completely as many and the allocated drill within the time frame. So that means, for example, the first round we have core. For the use one, we start with 30 seconds, going up to one minute. And for the adults, they have to do it two minutes. So you have to count it and you have to allocate it and you have to sign inside the score sheet. And same like the upper body and the lower body. The next, there you can see the scorecard. Focus on contestants, strength, power and stamina. Daily, the number of the designated drill, final score of the round should be decided according to the round as a whole performance, not just the number of the designated drills. And record the final score has the 10 point mask system. Um, for example, 
Both athletes red and blue have the same number of reps for the sit-ups. Both of them have, for example, in two minutes, they can do it 45 only, for example. But blue one shows a better performance and their, nice, their movements was much more better than the blue one. Blue one doesn't touch the, sh the floor with the shoulder, so he goes not with the whole body to the floor, but red did it. But both of them have the same number of reps. So in this way, red shows nice and a better performance and he shows a good power. That means he will win this round or she will win this round on this criteria. Same like on verbis, but for the verbis we have two criteria also. Let me check it. If you do the purpose, same like a normal push up, or you use the knee for the push ups, you count it on a different way. But you can see it everything inside the rule. That means, for example, the full purpose, the full push up, you count it for two. And if some of them don't go down and he saves time and save energy. He goes on a halfway and he stops it and go back. So you count it only for one. That's also very easy to handle it and to follow them. And the next round perform as many right kicks up until halfway through the round. So that means the next round, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, the left and the right one. Next one is the score sheet. So same as I said before, you have to fill it out with the date, with the your name, with your country. The next one we have Pete from Italy against Rodolfo USA. So the full sit-ups. First round, Italy can get the they did it uh, for the three reps, and the blue corner only for the one. That means the red corner wins by 10-9. He shows more reps but the quality of both of them are similar the same one. The next one, the burbies, red corner 28, blue corner 29. So on this way, blue corner win this round. The next one, you can see the kick ups right and left. That's why I have explained before, maybe it's possible to use two of them. It's a little bit easier for you. So you have one of the left and one of the right hand and Red corner uh, can do 32 reps with the right one and 29 with the left one. And blue corner 29 with the right and 26 with the left one. So in this way, red corner win this round also by 10-9 decision. And in the end of the battle, red corner win this battle by two to one rounds, but or 29 to 28. I hope it's clear. Did it clear for you? Okay, that's nice. So now it could be interested for the next one, for the last one, this AeroFit. For the AeroFit, we don't have a special dress code. They can use some traditional uniform. They can use sportswear. It's up to them. And for this one, it's important to show some creativity in choreography. So they can do some, for example, means Carloy. They can do some jumping techniques or spinning techniques or try to keep a time, something like this one. So they can show their skills and also with some choreography and creativity inside. If they do, for example, Perhaps with some after a jumping knee or something like this one. So it shows a very good choreography and creativity. And next point is also the creative costume. For example, the blue corner use only the normal sports skin, sportswear, and red corner use traditional uniform, something like this. So this way is a point of the costume. And also incorporation of fitness components. If they make, for example, I don't know, flick flag or jumping technique, something like this one, they show a good performance and they do it similar to the same one. You will get a point for this one. Very important is also the balance and the power. And also very important on this category, the coordination and the synchronity. 
they have to do it on the same. They have to do it the same movements on the same time. Not only one, for example, the left, the female partner shows a right bunch, the left, the male partner shows a left bunch. So they have to do it the same one. And also the fluidity and the continuity. And tally points are scored as a 10 point must system. That means also the scorecard, your name, the date, the country, and for example, red corner. Oh, I forgot to fill out the names inside. I'm sorry, it was my mistake. The name of the country, I forgot. For the choreography, they can get two points, but red one received only one point, blue received two points, but red one have a nice costume, blue one didn't have, so in this way, one point for red, zero for blue. The fitness components, both of them shows good one, get two points. The balance and the power, for example, red one shows a jumping knee, a cow loy, but if he comes back to the floor, he loses balance. So in this way, you did just duck the point. Blue corner gets two points. And also the coordination and the synchronicity. Uh, red one are not in time with his partner or her partner. So you, you deduct the point. Blue corner shows a good performance. They received two points. And both of them for the last point, they received one point. So that means all in one, red have seven points and blue have nine points. That means the blue corner win this round by 10 to nine. I hope it's clear and for everybody understandable. And very important during the preliminary bouts, during the elimination, each of the referee and judges have to make a picture, have to make a photo. So on each competition, we have two or three referees and on their side, there will be an ITO. The ITO will observe everything, but he didn't scroll about the battle. But this is the job of the referees and judges. But if you are finished with one competition or with one battle, so you take your mobile phone, mobile phone in this way, you make a picture of the score sheet after you fill it out and everything was correct, please check it again. After you make a picture and the picture, you will send it to the ITO and the ITO will put the result in the, inside the system of our sports. We need to use our sports to create a winner. And on this way, if we have the winner, we announce the winner on our sports. So everybody knows, okay, my next component and my next opponent will be, for example, will be a guy from Greece or from, I don't know in which country they will be our. So that's why we have to do it on this way, but only on the semifinals and on the finals, the referee use the mobile phone or a second tablet for the our sport system. But during the uh, elimination, everybody has to make a picture and have to send it to the ideals, which one will be on your side and will support you. I hope this is also understandable, understandable and clear for everyone. Okay. And for the error fit, so maximum three rounds, same like uh, three minutes, same like the rec room. So the teams consist of two members of any gender. It doesn't matter, male, male, female, male, female, female. Uh, any gender to one male, female. It must consist of fitness components and the video should be recorded with microphone on. Maybe they have some commands or they explain something like this one. So uh, it is very important also to do it on the same way like for the recruit competition or for the max fit, something like this. So they have to stay in a correct distance and they have to show on which area they have to move and they would like to move, but not out of the area, the referee cannot score it. So same rules like on the other division before. So I think we are done. So if there are any questions, 
Charissa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. If anyone okay. has a question, um, please go ahead and unmute and ask your question or raise your hand. No questions. So our uh, registration is already open um, for countries that have already um, made their qualifications and that have already uh, completed their their entry fee payment. So it, uh, they have already those those countries have already received access to register their teams on the R Sports platform. Um, ahead of not knowing how many participants we will have in each division. Um, we are foreseeing perhaps that we might have very big divisions in some uh, in order to make sure that we can have a live event or a live final that is manageable. Uh, it means we will have to uh, we will have to run the preliminaries uh, via video submission at least in the three disciplines of Y crew, shadow box, and um, arrow fit. Fit. Uh, Obviously the max fit discipline is the discipline that is, we would not be able to allow uh, for videos to be pre-recorded and submitted as it would sort of defeat the point of the competition. However, uh, in order to manage the time zone differences, we may uh, have participants perform their, their three rounds uh, in front of the judges so that it's so, and, and then we record it. And once we do the matchups or the bout scheduling, we can then put those videos together of the two people who are matched together. And then those videos can be judged later. That's to um, manage if we say have someone, a kid from USA against uh, someone from Hong Kong. So we don't have uh, a time zone conflict in that we'll, have, we'll need to have one kid, you know, doing their, their rounds at like one in the morning. We don't want that. Um, so on the R Sports platform now for the registration in the AeroFit Y Crew and Shadowbox divisions, uh, teams are supposed to upload their uh, video submissions so that we can prejudge uh, as many as we need to in the preliminary rounds uh, and then we'll go live for the final rounds possibly when we have uh, no more than 16 on the bracket. Is that understood? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. Okay. So does anyone have any questions? One question, I think. Okay. So, no two questions, okay. Please ask. Maybe you can unmute yourself. I would, like I would like to ask about the scoring criteria. I'm Mohammed from Libya. Yeah. Yeah, as you said that you we're gonna rec the the athletes gonna record the videos and we're gonna score the videos later on, right? Like for the preliminaries, is gonna be uh, scored like uh, for sending the video and then we score it. Yeah. And for the semifinals and finals, it's going to be live, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for explaining. I'm sorry, that, that's the question. Okay. Thank you. Next question. Rahula, go ahead. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for this wonderful presentation. I have one question about the preliminary round that uh, did you consider about the times and that uh, uh, one is from Afghanistan, one is from 
Thailand will run us from the U.S. said there is a, a different time zone. This C or this uh, could uh, manage to stay and uh, touch the match. So for the preliminary rounds, uh, as I explained Did you get it, earlier, we will be sending we'll be sending the videos to the judges which are assigned to about. So for example, yeah. if you are assigned to, to judge match bout number 46, you will be sent the two videos okay. of the two contestants that you need to judge. You then will send, score it and send your scores back to the ITO who will be the one assigned to that bout in charge of that bout, they will um, input your scores into the system so that it will be on the live scoring. And then once the, the score goes into the system, it will automatically uh, show who, who won, who lost, and then the bracket will move on. So then they'll know who they, they will need to compete against next in the next round. Does that answer your question? No answer. Okay, next question. Omar asked about the shadow boxing. How you will score the fighters? Same as I said before. So in each round, you have different goals, different things to do. So for the first round, they have to show all eight weapons. They have to show them slowly, same like a warm up. The second round, they have to show some counter and defense. And the last round, they have to show speed and strength. And so, for example, you, if you see, if you take a look on the score sheet, display all weapons, he will receive two points. And for example, one of the athletes shows only boxing and kneeing and kicking techniques, but he forget his elbow skills. So you will deduct the point. So in this way, for the first one, he don't receive two points, he receives only one point. So in this way, on this criteria, you can create a winner. Same like well, for the technique, for example, he shows, I don't know, not a Muay Thai kick, he shows a traditional karate kick, he's snapping, something like this. So in this way, you deduct the point also, but for the technique, if he shows a good technique, he will receive two points. And if he don't show a good and a nice techniques, you deduct the point and he will receive only one or maybe zero points, but normally you deduct only one point. And same one, uh, one guy or one athlete shows a, the cow loy, the jumping knee, and after he come back to the ground, he losing on balance. So in this way, you didn't score it, you don't score it, so you deduct the point for the balance. So in this way, you can create a winner over three rounds. So in all three rounds, you have all these criteria for the scoring. I hope it's understandable now. Omar, uh, you want to report the question, if possible, yeah. please. Uh, what did I meant? I meant about the. Uh, will we score each fighter round by round, or like we'll see like uh, first round, no, 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 no. then blue, then a second round red and a blue like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Good. Okay. Some more question. No. Okay, no more hands raised. I think that was a very informative session, Senator. No questions. Okay. No more questions. <laughs> That's nice. That's cool. But if you have any question after this one, maybe. You make some notice and can send a mail to the Federation or to Teresa or to me, it's up to you. It's not a problem. So we will give your answer. And that's it. Yeah, and I will make this, um, I will make this recording uh, available yeah, uh, nice. for everyone to hear. Uh, yeah. let, let me say something. And also please, for the referees and judges for this competition. Please prepare yourself, read the rules, read the rules book for this competition, 
take a look on the videos. Eva had done a great job. They put a lot of videos inside, so you can see, especially for the ragu, which posture must be inside. And so in this way, prepare yourself, look, watch them, and make some notes. And if you have some questions, don't be afraid, don't be shy, ask. If you are staying in contact, if you are communicate, so we can clarify it before, but during or after the competition to clarify it, it's a little bit hard, but before we can do a lot of clarified things. And so in this way, please prepare yourself, read the rules, watch all the videos, and also especially for the max fit competition. So Janice did a great job. We see did she make a lot of videos and I think after the video she, she shows a really good performance and now she's in shape and she's ready for the next fight. And so there you can see a lot of movements and how they have to how they, the athletes have to show the performance for the next fit competition. And so you can see exactly which exercise uh, have must be done or they have to do it now immediately. So in this way, please prepare yourself, watch some videos or watch all the videos. And if you have some question, send us a message. Don't worry about this one. Uh, can I uh, uh, make a suggestion, Gunther? Yeah. First, uh, happy birthday, Carissa. Hope to wish you all the best. Second, it will be really great if we can see an, um, a video of a shadow boxing or a white crew from two former uh, fighters who they are an uh, athlete now. Uh, let's give an example like an Abby and Dion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Abby for sure she will do it. It's not a problem. I will. I will talk to her. It's not a problem. <laughs> Now you can see uh, also if you take a look on the website for the World Open Championship 2020, they are all poster inside and there's also a short video clip with a very cool inside. So everybody can see what which kind of poster must be inside and maybe they can do it similar the same one, but some of them they have their own style for the right crew. They have some poster more or less inside. So some of them throw the spear, some of them use the arrow and something like this one. So it depends on the athletes. So that's why we select only two mandatory poster inside and it's much more easier for the people and also especially for the youth one, if they are creative, especially if they're using some makeup for the female athletes or something like this one, it looks nice. And I'm sure they will show a good performance. And also Jorissa, again, happy birthday to you, take care and enjoy your cake. <laughs> Thank you. So unmute everyone so everyone can say goodbye. Thank you everyone for joining. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 Thank you. 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 I hope so. Thank you, Mr. Gunther. You're welcome. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.